The best way to stop a hacker is to think like a hacker. And in this video, I'm gonna put on my black hat, so to speak, and I wanna show you what I would do if I was a real threat actor and I had your organization, your company, your personal data in my scope. So I will show you exactly what I would do and we'll end this video by giving you some advice to stop a threat actor like me in my tracks in order to keep your personal data safe. So the first thing we wanna do is let's see if we can get your password information from the deep web and other places where your information has been leaked, entering a website called Dehashed. All right, let me walk you through some of the features of Dehashed. So Dehash has whatever this number if, is of compromised assets. We have all these features and innovations that they offer, but the way that I use it as an actual pen tester when I'm doing a pen test is I use Dehash in order to target a specific domain or company, and I can dump all of the compromised users, all of their passwords, both in clear text as well as passwords that have been hashed, to either try to crack the hash or aid me in password spraying attacks. So we can go through this. You can see it's used by thousands of law enforcement agencies has a bunch of powerful integrations what I'm going to show you today is their API and how we can use that to dump data really quickly in any target domain of our choice now, in order to do that, I've written a Python script. I'll drop a link to it in the description of this video, a very simple Python script that's gonna do a few things. So if we just go ahead and run it, pass a recon, it is going to take a target domain as an argument, your username, which to be clear, you do need a dhash.com and an API key to run this, but I spent about $8 total to get 100 API requests. So it's not super expensive. It's really affordable to do this. So target domain, your username, and then your API key. And I'm gonna show you this in action. We're going to target tesla.com. And the reason I'm choosing Tesla is they have a pretty active bug bounty program and recon is often allowed. And I think I have a less chance of getting in trouble by targeting Tesla, but I am going to hide some of the sensitive information so you cannot see it because we are on YouTube and I don't want to get my YouTube account banned. But let me show you this tool. Let's go ahead and run it. So we'll do Python 3, password recon. We need to give it our target domain. So we'll do tesla.com. And then our username, this is my username for dhash.com, and then we need to grab my API key. Now, generally speaking, you don't wanna share your API key with other people, but I am going to regenerate my API key, at least once Cloudflare lets me get through. Here we go. So here's my API key. You can go ahead and try to use it all you want. Like I said, I'm going to regenerate it as soon as I'm done with this video, but we're going to grab our API key after signing up for our credits, and we'll drop our API key in there as an argument, and we will go ahead and hit enter. Now, you can see it just did two things. We have our dehash results, which is gonna be a raw file showing IP information, phone numbers, and all of that. But then I also have a query that just takes the dehash results and turns it into a very easy email and password to aid you in a password spraying attack. Now, I am gonna try my best to hide some of the data, but let me just show you what this looks like. If I go ahead and cat, and first LS, we'll cat out emails and passwords, and there you go. We can see all the information from users at test Tesla.com who have had their accounts been in data breaches in the past. Now, what is different is a lot of websites will say, yes, your account has been pwned, but with Dehash, I can go ahead and see, okay, here are all the accounts that have been pwned and here are their actual passwords. Now, some of them are password hashes, so that's not gonna be as useful. You can work on cracking the hash, but others are actual passwords of users at Tesla that you could then use to target the organization to a deeper way. So let's talk about defense. How do you stop a threat actor like me from targeting your personal information and targeting your organization? Well, let me give you just a few ideas. Number one, always enable MFA, multi-factor authentication. If you are only relying on passwords for authentication to your email, to your VPN, to anything sensitive, you are just asking to get pwned. You're asking to get hacked by a hacker. If you're only relying on passwords, this is a super easy way for me to attack your organization and deploy ransomware or whatever it is as I pivot deeper into your org. So if you don't already enable MFA for everyone, start doing that now. My second suggestion to you is if you have an organization, if you're on the InfoSec team, or even if you're not on the InfoSec team, you can let them know about this. But a lot of these companies, including Dehash and Have I Been Pwned, they actually have monitoring. And when there's a new data breach that is released and your domain is included in that data breach, they will let you know, hey, this email, this domain is included, update your password information. And finally, you should be doing a regular 
another password audit in your environment. In Active Directory, this is pretty easy to do with a variety of tools. I'll let you do the research on your own, but you can actually do regular password audits and ask the question, are any of the users in my organization using known breached passwords? And let me just throw in a bonus one. You should do regular pen testing. Now, a penetration test is different than a vulnerability scan. A vulnerability scan is just doing something like Nessus in your environment and seeing, hey, are there any low hanging bugs that we should take care of? In a penetration test, at least from a good pen testing company, it is manual, hands-on exploitation, really putting on that black hat and doing exactly what I just did here. If I was doing a pen test for your company, I would target your domain, I would do password spraying in any login form that I can find, and I would try to pivot deeper into your infrastructure. It is better to pay a company to do a pen test for you before a real hacker comes after you so the pen testing company, the security consultant, can come alongside you and stop you from being hacked. So hey, hope you found this video helpful, giving you a really quick glimpse of how real threat actors would take down your organization or take down your personal information. I will see you in the next one.